So, uh, let's talk about the challenges of uh, a duck and hen couple uh, when they are go camping. Um, what are some of the challenges? So, when we're in the canoe, um, it's difficult to communicate. Mm -hmm. um, Forward, so he can't read lips. Yeah. So I need to sign only a little bit on one side. I can't turn around. So sometimes I want to say something, but I can't. I just need to wait. Or um, if he gives me directions, um, I can't say no, I just need to do them. We can't have a uh, discussion. You can say, you can uh, say no, uh, but it looks different, it looks like. No, no. <laughs> yeah, wait, um, <laughs> stop. I think you said go this way, stop, this way. Yeah. <laughs> so that's one hard thing about camping and hearing people. Um, Wait, I need to add one more thing. So when uh, we are uh, coming, uh, we try to plan uh, beforehand, discuss uh, which campsite. Uh, uh, if the wind is from this direction, what will we do? Will we Hug this uh, sh shore or that mm. shore. Uh, if then uh, what? Um, so you can't talk about these things when you're in the canoe. You need to think about them beforehand and be ready uh, when they happen because there's no time and you can't have a discussion, right? No discussions, right? Yeah. No long discussions, no short discussion maybe. Only easy discussions. Yeah. Okay. Um, Okay. Mm. Uh, at night time, it's impossible to see, so I'm looking for her light, uh, her headlight. Uh, if it's still moving, uh, then I know she's still alive. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, so, um. And, um, but really, the danger here is why uh, we saw a moose very close to the camp one time, but uh, we haven't seen any big or and. Uh, Coyote last year came by close to three feet of her, but it's not very dangerous here. Um, you can talk, but I can't really talk at length because you can't move my lips. So sure. you can talk, and um, I have to sign or use the light. So I tend to be quiet, talking a lot, but it's This is something I notice uh, with uh, any of my friends. Uh, if um, if playing friends have a campfire going, it's impossible for me to read, read their lips. Mm -hmm. uh, for hearing people, fire time is time for conversation, but for us, it's more quiet time. Yeah. It's like um, the light, fire light is like that. <laughs> yeah. Lots of uh, shadows, uh, so it's impossible.
I do a wake up uh, often uh, because it's not comfortable, it's not a thought. Uh, every time I turn, I wake up, uh, basically. Um, but uh, yes, I sleep a lot better than I. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't think of anything else. Well, obviously hearing people are like, can stand at a distance and call out to each other, but that doesn't work for us. Mm -hmm. uh, if I'm looking over there, uh, how does she get my attention? Mm -hmm. yeah. But we keep an eye on each other, so we look at each other often. Mm -hmm. um, I will add, uh, what number are we at? No, number five. So number five. Um, a lot uh, of things in the world are not, uh, what are the words for them? Uh, so, uh, if you have, uh, what I think is called a peninsula, which is a stretch of water around it, uh, land with water around it, uh, then, uh, okay, uh, I might say, uh, let's go for that uh, peninsula. But which one? Mm. Things in the forest are strange shapes, so we don't have the language for that. Or the sign language. Uh, maybe our sign language will be more descriptive um, uh, than uh, hearing English. Uh, but at the same time, uh, if we're in a canoe, uh, when it's I, no good. When I see a heron, or a falcon, I just have to say bird over there because there's no word or it's not easy to fingerspell. Uh, uh, even for me, uh, I don't know the sign for that specific bird or that specific tree. Crow uh, is a uh, you know, black bird, we don't have yeah. uh, a name. Have to fingerspell it. Um, so but the more we come, maybe we will invite uh, different signs for specific uh, things. Interesting thing. Um, I hear kind of animal sound. Um, I tell you, and then you sometimes ask me, what does it sound like? So I need to think what kind of sound does a loon make? Or what kind of sound does a motor or a plane or <laughs> um, a cricket. Um, so it's nice for me. She has an en uh, engine in the sky. So I'm asking if it's a jet or, or a prop. Uh, she doesn't know. I don't understand how that's pos possible. But, um, but yes. Uh, an example is um, coyote uh, and uh, wolf. Uh, they both howl, howl mm, at night time. Uh, but she can't explain the difference uh, between this and this sound. Uh, uh, people, hearing people say that it's a hunt, hunting sound. Uh, I can hear it, but it doesn't sound hunting at all for me. Uh, so what did you say? It sounds like a train? Yes! Uh, uh, it sounds like um, a train horn. <laughs> so.